Hi everybody, welcome back to Jimmy Does Knitting. I am Jimmy and this is my podcast where I talk about a topic, usually something that's relevant in my knitting life and we go from there. It's not your typical podcast episode and today we are talking about cable knits for men. But before we do that, I am Jimmy Does Knitting on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. All of the notes for everything will be down in the descriptions along with knits for patterns, links for patterns. I've also made a Ravelry bundle with the patterns mentioned in this video and many more. So you can go ahead, click on that and see what's up. And of course, because this is a men's sweater, jumper, pullover, cabled video, please suggest your ones, your favorites down below and I will add them to the bundle as we get to them. And just, it's, it's exciting times over here. It's really exciting, beautiful times. Uh, the reason why we are talking about this is because it's my absolute favorite thing, the reason why I got into knitting. I love a black cable jumper, and that is what I'm wearing today. I am wearing the Savin by Megan Babin. Let's just take a minute to appreciate the center cable. Oh, this is like my absolute favorite. It's, I think, the most beautiful sweater that I've ever had in my entire life or have ever seen, and I'm obsessed with it. So we're, we're cooking with gas from the beginning. This is knit in Hudson and West Forge, which is the recommended yarn in the color Raven. It is, um, I forgot to mention, the Hudson and West in general was one of those woolen folk vendors. So if you would like to support them by buying the pattern or buying some of the yarn, if you can afford it, then go for it. Uh, what's happening here? So we're talking about men's cable jumpers. We would like at Jimmy Does Knitting Industries to clarify that men come in all different shapes and sizes. Men or male identifying people are a vast variety. Clothes do not have a sex. You can knit a women's sweater for a man or however you identify and vice versa. We are not, we're not talking binary. We're not talking about, you know, like men only, you know, I'm not a man in this or anything. But what I do find is men's measurements are slightly different. I do have narrow shoulders, so I'm able to wear a lot of like female patterns, but I need to alter them. So big difference for between male and female sizing is shoulder width, the yoke depth, and then the body and sleeve length. And while I often modify because I like patterns written for women, and I understand that not everybody is interested in doing those modifications, especially with a more cabled sweater. So just to put that out there, uh, I just wanted to share some joy and some patterns and some designers that you may or may have not heard of. Uh, one thing, oh, let's first start with companies that I would recommend if you want a cable pattern. The ones that come to mind the most for men are Hudson and West, Brooklyn Tweed, and actually Rowan. Rowan has a decent amount of cable sweaters, and I would suggest looking at them, preferably Hudson and West and Brooklyn Tweed if you need stuff because they're more smaller businesses that could use your, your help, and they just have beautiful cable variations and stuff. I'm not talking today about like twisted stitches or one by one cable. I would classify that more under like a textured knit. We're talking like cable cables. And I want to, yeah, just go through a bunch of stuff. So I am wearing my computers down here with a bunch of the pictures and the list. So this is how we're going to go for it. The images of the patterns will be coming over here. And like I said, everything is in the description box. Enough talking. Let's get into it. I loved this so much, my Savin by Megan Babin for Hudson and West, that I am knitting another pattern of hers called the Owen. And if you want to look into my last video about comfort knitting and why I chose this, uh, please free, feel free to go and do it. But I am loving this. As I said, black cables are my comfort. And look at this. I'm knitting this out of Durarum Natura Gilead in Ebony, I believe, and this is the sleeve for the Alwyn. 
I will also put a picture here if I have not already. And then I have also finished one repeat of the body. And this is some like cable mastery, witchery, hocus pocus witchery. I like, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Highly recommend both patterns. Really enjoying it. The fit of this is wonderful. I know it uses the same fit for the owl one. So we're really, we at Jimmy Does Knitting are very happy with that. So let's get into the patterns. The first one that I have on my list is the Foster, also by Megan Babin for Hudson and West. What I really like about this one is it has a fairly simple like cable motif, like a little like Celtic knot and then some like ribbing and then Celtic knot and ribbing. It gives you that cozy feel and it is just wonderful. And if you look at um, Megan's stuff, she always uses the same model, it's her cousin. And you're wondering, is this a nice sweater or do I just like how it looks on the model? And the answer is, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. It fits beautifully, but also he pulls them off very well. He has a frame quite for for the, for the models. Um, all these patterns are seamed. They are, you know, knit in pieces and put together and it's really worth it, I think. Uh, it's just, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, I think these all came out in these three Hudson and West ones that I am sending, saying came out in different years for different um, drops, I guess, and highly recommend. They're beautiful. Uh, the next one that I wanted to talk about was the DNA pullover. So I knit this. It is from Interweave Knits, and it's by Andrea Call. And I knit this out of some terrible tensile, like fingering weight fabric as like a summer cable knit. And it was my first cable knit. It was uh, like the cable knit actually went well. It took me like four months. Uh, to be honest, the yarn was a disaster and it, it didn't survive. It, it died last summer. It's no longer with us, but I loved it while it was there. It was a complete yarn choice fail, but it was in um, interweave knits. I forget which edition. So it's in, in a magazine, and I think that this is great. What it is is these next couple are more of your traditional Aran jumpers. So uh, this is the Aran jumper that I thought was like the most beautiful at the time, and I made it into like a summer shirt. But it has this really cool like DNA helix that helps frame the center part. So like the center is like more of a, a lattice work, and then it has the um, the framing of the DNA, which is really the, the star of the show. And it also goes down onto the arms. And I think that this is a really beautiful one. It's once again, knit in pieces. It's really nice. Uh, the next one that I want to address, let's say, is the Handsome Chris pullover. So as many of you know, the Knives Out Chris Evans, Pine, Schwartz, I don't know what his last name is, one of those Chris's that looks alike from Hollywood. He wore this like cozy Aaron undyed sweater and everybody in the knitting community lost their mind. And um, Karen Schaffer put together a pattern. So she designed it based on the movie. It's out for free on Ravelry. There are like a thousand different versions of it in different colors and you can go and see it if you follow the link below. So she tried to recreate the version for herself and it's, I don't know the sizing is geared towards men or women, but it's definitely the sweater that he wore in the movie is what we're talking about. This sweater, the satin is also based on that, but obviously the motifs changed slightly. It is, it's just like your cozy, warm, traditional Aaron. And I also, there was also a video by Zaid Lang, who is on YouTube, that did a video based on that sweater. It's going to turn out different than the Handsome Chris sweater, but it, it's, you know, like that classic, typical Aaron. And I think it's a really nice pattern. It's approachable because it's free. 
but I mean, it's still knitting and cabling and all of that stuff, but I would recommend that. Um, in my mind, the next one is the Svensson by Jared Flood. Like if people tend to go for more of a commercial pattern for a Aran sweater, they tend to go to this one. I've knit a couple of Jared Flood's patterns before. They fit very well for men. Like the sizing is pretty good. The patterns are very thorough. It's really like a good composition. It is one of those ones that walks you through a little bit more, which is probably handier if you've not knit much of a uh, like cable work or something like that. Uh, I, I, I really highly recommend his patterns. And of course, the I've not tried the yarn, but I've heard it's great quality, but the patterns are really nice on Brooklyn Tweed in general. And it, I suggest you check them out, figure out what patterns you like, and then you, you can buy some of those. But it's more of your traditional um, Aaron sweater. The next one I have is the Hugo which is a little bit of a departure. So my style is not so much of like a shawl collar, even though I really do, I always have a scarf around, actually I actually have one right here <laughs> because I, my neck needs to be warm at all times. And I'm not much of a shawl collar sweater guy, but this one is a good shawl collar for like an Aaron, like slightly updated. I did not write down who it was by but this is available through the Brooklyn Tree website. I couldn't find it on Ravelry, but it has like really nice all over cables, a slightly different fit, and I thought it was pretty, it was a good one to share. Next we go into the Martin Story kind of block, and we start with the cable sweater. It's just called the cable sweater. It's a ton of cables. I wouldn't say it's sort of, like your typical Aran sweater, but it has like a little bit more cables. I think it's in my mind what a typical Aran sweater has is it has like the central thing with um, rows on the side and then usually some like seed stitch or something else uh, to fill in. This one looks like it's all over cables. It looks like it's a pretty old pattern. The model is selling it. It's a turtleneck and it's all over cable and I think it's it's really a beautiful one to try out. Another Martin Story one, and this varies off of the cable sweater, but it's more into just cables and not Aaron. And it's also a hoodie, it's called the Brando. And it just looks like a thick, nice cable hoodie. I will say that I think that the hood is not cabled, if I see correctly. There's only like one picture of it on Ravelry and it doesn't have many projects, but it looks like the hood is pretty standard. So in my mind that contracts contrasts a little bit but as with any hoodie you could just knit it and then put a neck on it and go from there um, but it's it's really beautiful i think if it's a good option for a hoodie with cables on it the one after that i have is the fleet so this is one that mr does knitting found online he just like google searched a couple for me and he found this one and he's like whoa look at these cables this is also by Martin Story. It's for Rowan, but the cables are really um, special and unique, and it's a definite statement piece of a cable jumper. Um, it, I think it's really kind of cool if you're, I don't know, it's, I think it would be a little too loosey-goosey for me, but I think it's definitely something different and something that you would want to use as like a, a something fun to play with, let's say. And then the last Martin Story one I have is the Heston. Now this is more like you're going to a fancy place and you need a sweater to wear with it. Something like, you know, around the country club and it has this like beautiful interweaving lattice of a pattern on it. I think it's really, really nice. Um, it's very tempting to me, and it's a different type of cable. I think a lot of men's cables either tend to be Aaron or like just standard cables, and this has that, what you get with a lot of more patterns designed for female identifying people is like play and interweave and stuff like that. So I really appreciate 
this pattern for being more, I guess, playful, but it's very classy. It's very nice. Um, another designer is Rasta Sue, and he did the Odin pullover. This looks, in terms of cabling, like fairly simple. It has a really unique texture. There's a matching scarf, I think, that goes with it. Uh, but he does a lot of origami knitting and some color work. He's got a little bit of everything. And this cable knit jumper is really nice. And I think an alternative and different type of cable for men. I mean, it's pretty unisex pattern, but it's just like an oversized, comfortable cable. It looks, it looks wonderful. It looks like something that I would really particularly enjoy. Um, so go and check him out. The next one I have is the Squall by Michelle Wang. And this is also, I think this is like, if it was ribbed, but like cables. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But it's it's just like a comfy, almost gansy. It, from far away, it has more of like a ribbed look, but it's pretty simple cabling. And it just looks like, comfy and warm and like something that you would want to like wear and like a little rugged it gets you a little bit of that like I'm going outdoors but I'm not like you know digging in the mud sort of thing I I, I don't know if that's a valid description but that's <laughs> that's what it's giving me and it's just like a beautiful simple one it's also by Brooklyn Tweed or in Brooklyn Tweed and Michelle Wang has some really good patterns, so go check her out. The next one. So you couldn't have a cable knit without Nora gone. And she does a bunch, but it's mostly for women. I She actually wrote this book, Knitted Cable Sketchbook, source book, Knitted Cable source book um, that I have. And she just gives you a ton of patterns and like how to construct stuff and ways to play with it. It's a really nice book, but it's also, um, she just like knows cable. She's like the OG cable lady in, in my mind. So uh, she knit this more pullover for Brooklyn Tweed. And I think it's beautiful. It doesn't look too complicated. It's pretty straightforward, but it still gives you that like nice all over cable work pattern Feel. Next, Julie Hoover. I've knit a couple of Julie Hoover patterns. They're they're pretty well written. Um, usually they're seamed. Julie Hoover knows what she's doing. She's been in the game for a long time. She designed this carver also for Brooklyn Tweed. I think they had a year where they just really did like men's cables knits. This is what we're, we're committing to. But it's, it's similar to the mower and it has just like a, a maybe a little bit more of an elaborate cable that just like weaves in and out i think it's really nice it has you know a little bit of shaping it looks like a more approachable cable pattern and quite cozy wow. so the oster pullover is also by michelle wang for brooklyn tweed in that one year and what i really like about this is it has um almost like a chevron motif and i love a chevron motif if it's just like a texture thing over its pearl. Um, I really like it as a cable and that's why I had to include this one on the list. I think it's phenomenal to have um, the chevron with everything. Um, it's, it's just something different. I think, you know, men's cable, it's either pretty straightforward like the Squall or it's more of an Aaron style thing like the Svensson. And this is just a little bit of a different approach to it. It was still creating something like lovely and beautiful. It looks like a pretty easy repeat to memorize as well. And the last one that I wanted to share was The Curf by Amy Gunderson. And this one is really cool. It is a raglan. I'm not sure if it's seamed or if it's top down. I'm assuming it's seamed, but I could be wrong with that. You have to check the pattern notes. And this one has like a, a different style of, of cables i don't know maybe the model's also selling me on it but like the it's just because it's a raglan that's not like usually cables are drop shoulder because of the construction um and it's all over texture but it doesn't look like uh an aaron sweater it looks like i don't know 
something more playful, something a little bit more sturdy, and something different. Um, you don't really see many sweaters like this for men in general, so I really wanted to include it for that. And those were the 15 sweaters-ish that I wanted to highlight that were cables for men, male-identifying people, that sort of thing. Um, I did want to give out some some honorable mentions. Uh, Andreas uh, Ruthman has something that's going to come out later on in the year where the cable is actually like a saddle shoulder. Like the construction starts with this like elaborate cable and then it goes down. It's going to be amazing. Uh, if you check this out after, let's say, December 2023, go check that out on Ravelry. Um, Rose Knitwear, she is a English designer based in Amsterdam much like me. I'm not English, but I'm in Amsterdam. And she has a pullover, which I, not a pullover, a cardigan with the most beautiful cable that I've ever seen in my entire life. It is, you know, sized for women and it's like a really bulky cardigan, but the cabling on this is fantastic. And I am tempted to buy the pattern and then make a jumper with that cable for myself. So yeah, potentially go check that out. And then another one that I want to highlight is Seth Richardson does like scarves and accessories uh, for himself for whatever, but he has really good like cables as well. So I just wanted to put that up there. If you're new to this channel, thank you very much for coming and watching this video with me. If you liked anything, please like and subscribe. Comment below with your favorite cable net. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Talk to you later. Bye.